Welcome to The Local Campaign. I'm Mark Sutcliffe. Thank you for joining us. We are going to profile the candidates who are running in the riding of Orleans. Unfortunately, schedules did not allow for us to have a debate with everybody present at the same time for the riding of Orleans. So instead, we've given each candidate the opportunity to share a two-minute video. And we're going to start with Jessica Joannis of the NDP. Hello everyone, I'm Jessica Joannis and I'm your NDP candidate for Orleans. As you can see today, unfortunately the other Orleans candidates have failed to show up for this debate. They can't show up for a debate that's being held locally. How can they show up? How can we count on them to show up for our community when it matters? It is shameful and it demonstrates their lack of commitment to the people of Orleans and our community. On September 20th, you have a choice between the parties who have broken one promise after another time and time again or voting for Jagmeet Singh and the NDP, who have fought for Canadians. On September 20th, you have a better choice, and let me tell you why. In every corner of the country, families are worried about jobs, the health of our loved ones, the climate crisis, and the public services that everyone counts on. The past 18 months have shown that Canadians can confront any challenge when we have to, when we choose to, and when we come together. It has also shown us that thanks to the decisions of Liberal and Conservative governments, Many of the supports that we rely on just weren't there when we needed them most. If we want different results, we need to make different choices. We can make life more affordable by, by investing in health care, pharma care, and child care, and affordable housing. We can build an economy that works for people by prioritizing the people instead of large corporations that have evaded taxes for too long. We can make sure that we force big corporations and big polluters to start paying what they owe to combat the climate crisis and create good jobs in a green economy. In addition, we will implement federal standards for long-term care homes that have been neglected for too long. I've had the privilege of talking about these and other priorities at the doorsteps, and if you would like to learn more about me or my other commitments, please visit www.orleansndp.com or call me at 613-601-1196. Thank you. That's Jessica Joannis of the NDP. Let's hear next, as we go through the candidates in alphabetical order, from Marie-France Lalonde, the Liberal candidate. Hello, Orléans. I'm Marie-France Lalonde, and I'm running for re-election as your Liberal candidate because I want to keep building on the progress we have made together. Orléans has been my home for over two decades. I've raised my family here, started my business here, and I've been blessed to see Orléans grow and expand in ways that I've never would have expected 20 years ago. I have been honored to represent you since 2014, first provincially, and now federally since 2019. I have served our community through one of the biggest national crises of our lifetime. And my team and I have worked to answer your questions, hear your concerns, and give supports to our fullest extent. And if re-elected, we will continue to support you through our recovery. While the last year has been challenging, I have not stopped my work advocating for you and your family. During the pandemic, I've worked with all levels of governments to ensure that Orléans residents' family and businesses were not left behind. I've secured funding for local projects such as the Petri Island Canoe Club, Just Food Community Farm, and the first rapid charging public electric vehicle stations in Orléans. There's still more work to do, and I cannot do it alone. From the climate emergency, to childcare and support for seniors, students, and better health care, to a strong economic recovery. I'm eager to move forward, build back from this crisis, and work with an ambitious and achievable plan for everyone in Olea. If re-elected, I will work towards securing funding for MIFO's new build to improve pedestrian and cycling infrastructure, including a pedestrian bridge over the 174 highway, and towards expanding the GC co-working hub at Place d'Orléans. I humbly ask for your support in this election so I can keep working to move Orléans forward for everyone. Thank you. That's the Liberal candidate, Marie-France Lalonde, in the riding of Orleans. Up next, a video from the Conservative candidate, Mary Elsie Wolfe. I'm Mary Elsie Wolfe, and I'm your Conservative candidate for Orleans. Let me say up front that I am humbled and honoured to be running as your next federal representative. I've so much enjoyed meeting you at your doors. 
and hearing your dreams for Orleans as well as your concerns for your children and grandchildren, which is why the recovery program to secure the future has resonated with so many of you as it has with people across the country. Much of my life has been learning about how leadership means investing in others for their success. I believe that's what public service is. It's about serving others. I bring with me experience as a national director, an author, a pastor, an administration manager for a telecommunications company, a board member for various organizations, a mother of two beautiful bright daughters, and wife to my best friend Grant. I'd like to take a moment and talk directly to those of you who do not usually vote conservative. Our nation stands at a critical time in history. We have not faced challenges like we are now in our lifetime. It has not been easy for any of us and it's essential that we act now to secure the future. This is much more than just a campaign slogan. It is the imperative that we are faced with. We need to secure jobs, accountability, mental health, our economy, the country, but we cannot do it without you. I want to invite you to take a second look at our party under Air No Tool and our platform, because I believe we have a plan which will enable us to work together to secure our future. I'm Mary Elsie Wolf, and I'm running to be your next Member of Parliament for Orleans. I hope I can count on your support. That's Mary Elsie Wolf, the Conservative candidate. There are other candidates on the ballot in the federal election in the riding of Orleans who did not submit videos. They include Andre Junior Clairou, who is representing the Free Party, Michael Hartnett from the Green Party, and Spencer Oklobja from the People's Party of Canada. Don't forget, Election Day is on September 20th. I hope you can join us for live coverage of the local results that evening on Rogers TV. This concludes our presentation on the candidates in the riding of Orleans. Thank you for watching.